Today I'm going to teach you how to convert a vector, a position, to a direction vector. It's not the same, but it's really important to know how to convert it. Why? Because there are some nodes that use a vector direction to control the direction of something, like a line, a line, rate cast, whatever. So let's see how to do it. Let's get the camera, the LIGO to geometry nodes, let's hide this panel, and this one. And let's close this one too, because today we are not going to create any animation. Let's take this and use a curve line. Let's create it here and give some mesh. So here we have a line, but I'm going to convert it to a mesh so you can see it better. Now I'm going to create two objects. I'm going to create a UV sphere, an external UV sphere to control this position. So I'm going to come back here and bring object info and select sphere. And connect it here. And I'm going to create an empty, a plane axis. And move it here. And make a copy and select the empty. So we know this is the sphere, this is the empty. And now, if we try to move with the sphere the star, by the way, if you don't remember how this works, we have a line where this is the star, and we can move it in any position because this is a vector position, and then we have the position of the end. That is the same. It's a position, a vector position, and we can change here. So what we can do is to use the location, the position of the UV sphere to control the start point of this line. Okay, and we can do the same with the empty. We can use the location to connect it to the end, and we can control this with an empty. Okay. However, what if I select this? Direction. Now, this is the same. We can control the star with the UV sphere or any object. However, this is not more a position. It doesn't say like before end. It says direction. Look, if I click this in the end, it's 0, 0, 1, is this point. However, if I select direction, it's 0, 0, 0, 1, but it's here. Why? What is not here? Because it's a vector direction, it's not a position. So this one is saying in which direction is facing based in this position. So in this position, if we select one positive g, is this direction. If I select minus one, then is this direction. If I select, for example, minus one in this direction, then this is the direction. So you get the idea, right? Okay, now how we can connect this to here? Let's check it. You can connect it. However, look, it reacts, but doesn't work perfectly. So that's why I want to teach you this. If you leave this in 0, 0, it's going to work perfectly. Look, now with empty, it's following the direction of this line. That's what we want. But we want it all the time. However, if we move this, it's not working anymore. So don't get confused doing just this. Don't get confused because this happened to me at the beginning. By the way, this is the length, so you can increase this to say how much long do you want this line. Maybe you're thinking, but why I care about this if I can do it with this? First of all, because here you cannot control the length of this without moving this point, and here you can do it. Another reason, because if you use a mesh line, it's the same concept. We have a start position like this, and we have an offset. So it's the same theory. And also because we have other nodes, really important and powerful, like raycast, that what does is to cast rays. And don't worry, I'm going to do a tutorial about this node. But if you notice something here, it says ray direction. So this is to control the direction of the rays of this node, but it's not a position. So it's the same like this and this. So that's why it's so useful to understand how to do it. Okay, let's come back here and let's move this empty, for example, in 0 and 1 in 0. So the empty is in 1 positive z, 1 z, and 1 positive y. So in this point. And now this is working. However, if we move this, the position of this 
sphere, so the star. For example, I'm going to select 0 0.5 in Z. You can see that this is not matching anymore. So how we fix this? To fix this, what we have to do is to use a vector math. So let's bring vector math. And we need to connect it here and use subtract. So you need to use this one here. So now we are just adding like before. The position is in 0, 05. However, if we subtract this point, now should work. By the way, I'm not subtracting, that's my mistake. This should be in subtract. Now it's working. And as you can see, if I try to move this, let's check it, always is facing the direction of this empty. So that's the way to animate any direction, any vector direction, with a vector position. Remember, this location is a vector position, and this is a vector direction. Thanks to subtract the one we are using, minus the original position. By the way, if you wonder how I discovered this technique, it's because I was messing around, trying new things, and just happened, and then I was like, oh, I just discovered how this works. I'm sure a lot of people know the technique, but I don't know the reason why this works. At least it works, that's the important thing, and you know how to do it. By the way, if you ask me why this works like that, I will be honest, I don't know. I mean, I know how vector math add and subtract works. Actually, I have a tutorial. However, I don't know why when it's converted to a direction, it doesn't match with the result. I'm going to explain you. So right now, the sphere is in the position minus one. So minus one in negative, here is minus one, as you can see, and zero, zero in the other axis. And the empty is in one, one. So one, zero, one. So this is, Minus one, zero, zero. If you subtract first this one, so this minus this, what you get is two, zero positive. And you can check it here. Look. So if you want to see it, I'm going to add a point. I'm going to use this point. Let's use join geometry. You see the point? And let's get it here. So now the point is in zero, 0, And I can move it as you can see. So let's update the result. Now you can see that the result of this, of this vector minus this vector, is this position. And this doesn't match with this line. So what I'm trying to explain you is I don't know why it's like that. I think it's something related that directions doesn't work like vectors, so maybe they are doing a math operation to normalize or do some complicated thing, but honestly, if you ask me, I don't know. If you're watching this tutorial and you know how this works, maybe you can explain to us in the comments so all the people like me, we can understand it. But the main point of the tutorial is that now you know how to control a direction socket, remember, in curve line, mesh line, ray cast, with an empty. And with this, it will be easier to control any direction. And remember, we have here the length. So also you can use this for a laser, for a cannon, whatever you want. So if you like this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can download this project and many more on my Patreon. And see you in the next video.